lasagna, french fries, and beans. Do you eat that stuff or just apply it directly to your hips? <laughs> Mr. Romano? Remember my telling you about growing up in New Orleans in two days? Yep. I think we got a new world record. <laughs> Ta-da! May I present to you squadron leader Alex Skywalker. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. What a weekend. Have you guys ever been in a private jet? Well, it looks like you're still in orbit. <laughs> Let me tell you, that Francine, that she's really a character. Bet you never done a loop-to-loop -loop with a lady like that. <laughs> I did a loop-to-loop -loop with a lady like that, and we never left the ground. Hey, uh, doesn't anybody get a kiss around here? Oh, uh, yeah. Did you know Aunt Francine knows how to fly? Mm -hmm. She let me take the controls. Aunt Francine? Oh, and wait till you hear about New Orleans and the two sisters. Oh, yeah, I remember them. <laughs> Schneider, it's a restaurant. Oh, they invested, huh? <laughs> Aunt Francine was speaking French to the maitre d'. Uh-huh. She's been to Paris. I had eggs ou sard, then croissant. Oh, well. Ma, you want to hit him with your blue plate special? <laughs> Tell me, Alex, where did you get that outfit? Oh. And, and Francine. Francine. Yeah, yeah, she picked it out for me. <laughs> she makes you feel like a real man. Well, Alex, being a man is very nice, but tomorrow is a school day, so... I'll get it. Thank you. I'll get it. Whoa, ho, ho. 23 skidoo and entrevu. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Well, look at that. They found Amelia Earhart. <laughs> just a... just a simple jumpsuit. Well, Francine, Alex was just telling me that his weekend was pleasant. Oh, well, he's a good man. Yeah, I was just telling her all about it. All about it? Oh, well, I certainly hope you didn't tell her about... It. <laughs> Are you crazy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me, I mean, what I don't know won't hurt me. <laughs> oh, no, Annie, really, it's nothing. We were just talking about going to the Cubs game in Chicago next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Are we really going? No. <laughs> Why not? Because Alex has to help me on Saturday. Uh, we are taking the furniture out of his room and repainting the walls. Gee, that's no problem. I just got my spray gun back in the shop. I can take care of that for you in about 40 minutes. Oh, well, <laughs> terrific. Alex, I'll pick you up at 9 o'clock. No. Why can't I go, Ms. R? Because, because I so. said so. Alex, will you take out the garbage, please? What garbage? Find some. <laughs> okay. Bound to find some in my room. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I've got nothing to do, but I can see now is a terrific time to do it. <laughs> Later. Schneider. All right, you want to settle it over there? Okay. <laughs> oh, you want me to, uh... Okay. You two discuss this thing. You come to a decision, I'll be available to review it. <clears throat> <laughs> Romano, what is your problem? It's no big deal. I just don't think it's a very good idea for a 14-year-old boy to be flying all around the country and driving off to Chicago for a ball game. Why not? Because it gives him the wrong set of values. My set of values. Well, Francine, let's face it. You are not exactly Mother Teresa. Well, even Mother Teresa would prefer to go to a ball game than paint a room. <laughs> I want him to know what the real world is all about. I don't want him getting used to you and your fantasy island. Oh, terrific. You want to keep him right here in Little House on the Prairie? <laughs> your problem is, Francie, one of your problems. You have never raised a kid. You are insensitive, selfish, thoughtless, and skinny. <laughs> and you are dull, jealous, uptight, and short. <laughs> Look, I know what I am doing. I have raised two daughters. I had a cat that raised 12. <laughs> 